Yo, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you how to make track photographs. If I want it, I don't gotta say nothing. I've been back and forth this time, I'm gonna take my chance. She take all the photographs and life will stay like this. Even if I break her heart, she gonna save that pic. I'm forever on the side, we can move on. Even if she leave me back. So for this track, I started with my melody, and I wrote some really simple triad chords. I usually like to use more complex chords, but if you find the right sound, triads are all you need. And then I wrote a little top line melody, and it's really nothing complex, it's just super straightforward and to the point. Uh, this is what the melody we wrote sounds like. So it really is just something really simple and catchy. Um, I used an Electrax, uh patch from a sound bank I have and then I also just layered the same sound with another Electra pattern and this is what this sound sounds like and that's the sound you hear that gives you all the atmosphere it's like a pad almost and as you can hear how that song kind of uh, grows very slowly it's because I threw grow speed on it just a half time without the half time this is what it sounds like So it still sounds really cool, but once you throw halftime on it, it just darkens it up. So then I also did automate a gross beat for the original sound that comes on during the hooks and it slows it down. So this is what it sounds like. Just something really chill. And then I also added one more sound from IOTA Mini. A free VSC you guys can grab from Angelic Vibes. And it's just the same pattern yet again. I use a Twinkle Bell preset. This is what that sounds like. And I threw growth speed on it, obviously. Just standard uh, patterns. And I did that just to kind of create like a glitchy kind of building sound during the... Uh, pre-chorus. One other thing I added to the melody was uh, arcade vocal chops. From the pack Zenith Falls, I think uh, arcade has some great atmospheric vocal chops in that pack. Uh, definitely should uh, consider getting arcade. It's a really solid uh, VST or plugin or preset pick or whatever you want to call it. I just threw a simple EQ on it, nothing special. So the drums are really nothing special on this track. This track's really just a very simple, straightforward track, and uh, Ali really kind of just carried it. So this is what the hi-hat pattern I laid down sounds like. It's two hi-hats layered, one's every fourth, one's every two, and it kind of creates like a bouncing sort of sound. Then a clap. Then there's a little snare in there to bounce. It hits in a pretty common spot too. Uh, hits on the offbeats of the snare. It's like a southern trap rhythm. I like this bounce a lot. And then I also just threw an open hat on the one and three bar. And it just kind of helps push the drums forward. Then I run 808. Very simple pattern. So all in all, this beat's really simple. Um, this is what the whole beat sounds like. And then one really cool thing I did was in the uh, verse, I added a sub bass, but I threw a effect on it and it kind of makes it pulse. So this is what that sub bass sounds like. There's a lot of effects on here, um, so this is what the sub bass sounds like without all those effects. And then with them. So I threw Blood Overdrive, this kind of just uh, distorts the uh, low end of the bass, some fast distortion. Um, really just a lot of distortion. Uh, compressor, I threw uh, the Master 1 preset on there, that's uh, usually a pretty good preset for your basses. 
a simple EQ, and then the gross beat I used is I made like a custom side chain, and it just uh, helped add some energy to the track and made it not be like a boring static uh, sub bass, and then some more distortion. So yeah, it's a pretty simple beat, and uh, I didn't expect much to come of it, because I usually like to make uh, stuff that's a little more complex, or just not as straightforward, simple, and hard, but um, my one friend, Ali, he uh, just hopped on it and was messing around, I'm like, bro, this is really, this is really solid, and um, so yeah, he just laid down this hook, and I was like, this is super aggressive, it matches the vibe of the beat so well. If I want it, I don't gotta say nothing I've been back and forth this time, I'm gonna take my chance She take all the photographs and life will stay like this Even if I break her heart, she gonna save that pic And since the track's called Photographs, uh, I added a little photograph effect at the end of the 8 bars uh, This is what that sounds like Just something in the background, something cool And then Ali also does uh, some cool reverbs, he usually does this, and this just kind of helps fill up the track as well, and it builds up to the drop. So a lot of times his vocal effects that he sends me are almost a second pad, and I think it's a really cool thing that he does. But yeah, overall that's the whole track, uh, nothing very crazy. And then on the outro I just kind of messed with a lot of gross speed, like I gross speeded the whole track and I made something really cool sounding. Uh, this is what the outro sounds like. It's just a, uh, a trance gate uh, preset with some uh, just half speed and it created like such a cool sound. But yeah, that's the whole track. It's a really simple, straightforward, hard hitting track. And that's what I like so much about it. I usually like to make stuff that's a little more, uh, a little more, uh, like, stylized, if that makes sense. But this one's just, uh, really hard and straightforward. But yeah, hopefully you learned something, uh, from this track. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.